Hey guys, it's Chris here, and this is probably one of the subjects that I've gotten asked about doing a video more than anything else this year, and that is shipping templates. It is something that a lot of people have a lot of problems with, and you know what? I, I want to make videos to make everybody have a better time with FBA. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you shipping templates, how to make one based off of your location, and I'm going to show you a trick in case you get high pricing errors with your shipping template. Now, I'm going to start this video by making a shipping template for the East Coast. Then I'm going to make a shipping template for California. So, if you don't want to watch, you know, if you're in the West Coast, you don't want to watch me make one for the East Coast, you're going to want to watch the intro. And then when I start making the shipping template, you're going to want to skip to... 12 minutes and 55 seconds. And that'll actually be a shipping template for the West Coast, okay? And you'll be able to base what you're doing off of that. Now, let me just begin with something. I don't like to do real big pitches here, but if you find this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. It is so helpful. And leave a comment letting me know that this was helpful to you because if these are the videos that you guys want me to make, I'll make more videos like this, okay? And in the description, I have a link to my Q4 group and a discount for people that are my YouTube subscribers. So take a look there. The only reason I bring that up in the video, and I hate promos, I really, really do, but I bring this up because there's something that I showed my Q4 group that somebody has actually said has already paid for the Q4 group just on shipping templates. So I actually show in my Q4 group a little secret setting that I use that gets you extra money for merchant fulfillment. So your customers are paying more for shipping, but you're not paying more for shipping. So you're making way more money on your merchant fulfilled orders. I'm not gonna give that one up on my YouTube channel. I gotta leave some secrets for the Q4 group. So if you are interested in learning that, sign up for the Q4 group, because it's one of the things we talk about. But promo over, promo free, let's dive into how to do a shipping template. So. The very first thing is you need to have an Amazon professional account. If you have an individual account, this is not going to work for you. But uh, you should just have a pro account anyway. That's my opinion. But, you know, that's me. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to log into Seller Central. You're going to want to go down to your settings and shipping settings. And then we're going to see the shipping templates. And we have different shipping templates here. But we're going to make a new shipping template. Now, if you're a California um, a person, West Coast, go to the West Coast timing, which will be 12 minutes and 55 seconds. And that'll actually show you how to set this up, but I'm gonna do this shipping template for the East Coast. So. Let's do, we're gonna just call this here East Coast Template. Okay, keep it real simple. Now the very first thing we wanna do is turn off everything we don't want to do. This is where people lose their shirt. They do expediated shipping, they mess up their pricing, and they lose a lot of money. Um, so basically my shipping templates usually look like that. <laughs> that that's basically it. I could almost end the video right now if I just did that, but there's a little bit more we wanna do here that'll save us some money. Now, the template that I'm gonna be setting up here is gonna be for free shipping. So almost everything you're gonna do is gonna be free shipping, but we know that we want people that are closest to us to buy from us. So let me show you what this looks like. So this is the zone map, and I'm gonna set this up for Blair County, Pennsylvania. Now. Um, what we want to, the uh, zone map I'm here using here, I'm going to put a link to in the description, but it is pirateship.com backslash USPS backslash zone dash map. And this is literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen on the internet. Like seriously, this is friggin awesome. I am transfixed by this thing. So um, anyway, I love this thing. But we can actually go in and we just need to put in the first two di or three digits of a zip code and we will be able to see the zone. Now, 
the zone is a reference to how far we are away. So zone five, for instance, is up to a thousand miles from us. So this all, all of these zones are a thousand miles from me. These are all about 600 miles from me. 300, 150, 100 I think it is. I, I, I might, by the way, be wrong on these zones. Uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head here. But that being said, we can start to see that where I am, I want to encourage people from these locations to be purchasing from me because no matter what, I am going to save money by shipping close to me. So not only am I going to save money because it's cheaper to ship closer to you um, or you know more local to you, but I'm also going to give a better customer experience because if I do a first class package from here to say Ohio, ugh, I hate it when I have to ship stuff to Ohio, but if I'm shipping something, let's say to Martin here out in Toledo, okay, that is going to get there very, very quickly. I would almost guess a first class would be two days. But if I'm shipping out to like Yesser, who lives in Los Angeles, I don't know how long that's gonna take, four, five, six days, I don't know. So I kinda don't wanna ship out to the West Coast. Now, it used to be, a long time ago, we could actually make these different pricing and people that lived in you know, the West Coast had to pay a couple of bucks extra and it would discourage people from ordering from us. But we can't do that anymore. So what we wanna do is we wanna set up a shipping template that encourages people close to us to buy and farther from us to not buy. Now this may seem very counterintuitive to you, especially if you're somebody that's volume conscious with Amazon, but what this is going to do is in the long run save us a buttload of money and give, like I said, a better customer experience. Customers are gonna get their stuff faster from us and we're gonna spend less. So let's dive into this. So we do for standard need to provide shipping to everyone. Now you will notice here that I do not use free uh, economy shipping. Um, it just, I mean, yeah, we totally can, but I mean, I'm going to be doing better than free economy anyway with our timing or with our, um, timing here and how the pricing is going to work. So we're just going to do standard shipping for this. So the first thing you may see, we need to actually provide for 48 of the continental United States and the district of Columbia. So we need to provide them at the same price, but not the same turnaround, guys. Very, very important. Now, I'm on the uh, East Coast here, so let me set this up just like I'm going to do it. Now, let's look here. Maine is very far from me, and Maine is also a very unpopulated state, so I actually don't want Maine to be one of my closer ones. Okay, this will make sense here in a moment, so just watch what I'm doing here and then adjust this according to where you are. This will make sense in a second what I'm doing here. Uh, Maryland. North, no. Virginia is close to me. West Virginia is close to me. Georgia is not close. Kentucky is close. Okay. So what I've essentially done here, if I've selected all of the states that uh, touch Pennsylvania and Ohio unfortunately touches us so I've touched I've selected all the states that touch Pennsylvania okay which happens to be about 16 states and are just close to Pennsylvania you know states like Rhode Island they don't technically touch Pennsylvania but they are close enough now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do two to four day shipping in my experience for where I'm setting up that is what would work for first class and definitely for priority then we're going to select all the states that are a little bit further away. So the Midwest, the South, um, and the Northeast. Okay, so this is more states. Three to five days, perfect. And then we're gonna select everything else. So this is gonna be the West, okay? And there we go. And that will not give us an error. So that is perfect. Um, we wanna bump that up to four to eight days. So. What this has effectively done is created a shipping template that will encourage people close to us to buy from us, but people far away from us to not buy from us. Okay, it seems a little counterintuitive because you would think, oh, well, you know, I want everybody to buy from me. 
I have used this shipping template extensively and really don't see any drop in my sales velocity for this, okay? I'm copying, this is literally what I use, okay? I do some tweaks to it, like I said, about the Q4 group, there's some tweaks that I do that make this more profitable, but this is basically what I do, okay? And by doing it this way, people close by are more tempted to buy because they're gonna see the better fulfillment time and that'll increase my buy box rotation for the people geographically close to me because Amazon looks at all of this. So then once I'm done with this, I would click on save. Now I'm not gonna save this one because I'm now gonna show you guys what to do if you get a merchant fulfilled high pricing error because this is something that I was just talking to one of the people in the Q4 group and he listed something at $6.99 and immediately got an error. Now, the buy box was $6.99. He listed it at $6.99, got a uh, high pricing error. So the reason for that is that Amazon does not recognize the cost of shipping in the formula for a high pricing error. So what happened was we had to go in and make him a separate template just for that. So we took his template, and once you make a template, you'll have the option to copy it. Let me show you guys how that looks. I will actually save this now. Okay, so you see here my uh, template that we just made. We're going to click this drop down here and we're going to copy to a new template. Okay. So we're gonna call this one East Coast Template, $5. Now, what we wanna do is, all we wanna do is make this $5 shipping, or actually what I would recommend is $4.99 shipping, just basic, you know, the psychology of 99 cents, we all know that crap. Okay, so even though we call it $5 just for brevity, we change that to $4. So. If you go to price something and it immediately throws you back a high pricing error, we want to pull this out. You want to drop your price $5, put this $5 shipping in, and go from there. Now, when you're looking at a listing and you see other sellers that maybe have different pricing for their shipping, okay, maybe you want to make a variation of this that's $3 shipping. So it would be $2.99 shipping or $2 shipping, whatever. I have a few of these already, so, um, but the $5 one seems to be the one that people use the most. So that's it. You now have two shipping templates that are going to kick butt and help you make a lot of money. So that's the end of the video if you're on the East Coast. Now I'm going to do the West Coast video. Hey, my West Coast peeps. So what I'm going to do here in this video is show you guys how to set up a template so that you save money and get a good buy box rotation and are able to help customers get their products quickly and efficiently and at the same time save you guys money. So thank you for bearing with me doing the East Coast first. You know, I got some love for the West Coast. Uh, I would have to say that my favorite rapper is Snoop Doggy Dog. So uh, yeah, West Coast all the way. Uh, <laughs> so what we wanna do here, what we're gonna do here is we got this template here. We go to settings, uh, shipping settings, and we got this template. So I clicked on make a new shipping template. We're gonna call this West Coast. Actually, I'm gonna call it Best Coast. Cause you guys, you don't have Ohio, really. It's the worst. So we're gonna set up this. Um, and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to remove from your template and then how you wanna set up your template to encourage people close to you to buy your products. So first thing, let's just remove free economy because I never use it, okay? Expediated shipping, you're gonna lose your shirt if you don't know what you're doing. Two day delivery, removed, awesome. So we just have this, but we're gonna delete these. Now keep something in mind guys, we do not need to ship to Hawaii and Alaska, and we don't want to. It's very, very expensive to do so. We don't need to, so just don't do it. So let's add this. So now we have everything deselected. We have this error because we do need to provide free shipping to the lower 48 states plus the District of Columbia. But we don't need to have them all get there in the same amount of time. Big brain ideas here, guys. Modern problems require modern solutions. 
So you guys are out here. So let me show you guys this zone map. This is literally the coolest thing I have ever seen on the internet. Let me refresh this because I just made the video for Pennsylvania. So I'm going to assume that you are in Beverly Hills 90210 because that's the only West Coast zip code I know. Um, so the way the zones work are pretty basic. Um, if you want to look at this um, infographic, the link is in the description. And it's pirateship.com backslash USPS backslash zone dash map. But just click the link in the description. It's right there for you. So with this, we can see how far a zone is from us on average. It's also interesting that these zones all represent the first three digits of a zip code. Look up how zip codes work sometimes because it is fascinating. But, and I could make a whole video about it, but, you know, I want to get this done and get you guys making uh, profit on Merchant Fulfillment. So, all we really need to know is that Zone 5 is the most common commercial zone that you will ship to based on national averages. So, you guys, Zone 5 is right there, and Zone 5 is typically 600 to 1,000 miles from you. This is 300 to 600 miles. This is 300 to 150 and this is like 150 to like 100 or something. I don't remember these exactly, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't really care. Uh, you can look up that information. Don't fact check me, okay? So, what we want to do is we want to encourage people closer to us to purchase from us and people further from us to not purchase from us. And again, I know that this sounds counterintuitive because we want as many sales as possible, but I do this all the time. I do not notice a drop in my sales, but I do notice that the people buying from me are closer than the people that I'm, you know, closer than they were when I just used a standard template where everybody was equal. Okay, so let me show you how this is done. So we're assuming that you're in the California area. Okay, it, you know, adjust this, you know, if you're in LA or in Seattle, use this map you know, whatever. This is all very, very easy. So what we want to do here is for our first zone of people we want to sell to, we want all of these states. So we've got California, Nevada, Utah, and I think that's Arizona. Maybe. But yeah. Okay, so that's in the West. We want California, uh, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. Okay, that was it, right? Yeah, so, and this is the problem with you guys out on the West Coast, is that where I am, like over in here, okay, let me stop this, because that, that's distracting to me. Where I am over here, and this is something that, like, is an issue, is so this is my county right here. This is my zip code, 1668, okay? Um, I have like all of, why is this sticking again? Okay, so where I am over here, okay, I have Philadelphia right here, New York right here, Washington DC, Boston. You know, so much of the American population is right within uh, where I am. Uh, so, like, my Zone 3 shipping is incredible. But you guys, you're all the way over here. So, yes, L.A. County has, like, more population than 15 American states, okay, down here. So, you have a crap load of population. But then once you get out here, you, you, you kind of got nothing. So, you really want to get this as localized to you as possible. So, that's why I'm only selecting four states okay for this initial one if you watch the east coast one you'll you'll see what i'm talking about here um and these should be two to four day states okay so these states here typically for zone four will be actually up to um zone five should be four days so we're giving ourselves a little insurance by calling it two to four was it yeah two to four it should actually be zone um 
five should be five day or four day okay so we're giving ourselves a lot of leeway right here because i know like especially in utah utah is a very unpopulated state nevada also you know there's a lot of people that might be ordering that it's just going to take forever to get there if we try to kind of cut things close so we don't want to do that this is not only to save us money but also to protect our account with getting things to the customer as soon as possible so let's go here to our next uh, one we have to set up. Now we have to ship to all uh, 50 states plus Washington, D.C. Um, I'm sorry, 48 continental states plus Washington, D.C. So next we want to add in these states that all the like these states here. OK, so this is going to be our next ring of states that we do. So West. Oregon, Colorado, Washington, Montana, New Mexico, Idaho, and Wyoming. Okay, so that would be basically all of these. Okay, awesome. And then let's also add in West Texas. So this is kind of cool here. If we click this drop down, we can actually just select West Texas. Now, Texas is one of the most populated states. So you know what? Even though it technically falls out of what we're trying to do. We're kind of trying to kid all of this shade of green here, and it's only a little bit here. I would probably still just select all of Texas, simply because Texas is one of the largest states with one of the largest populations. So this is gonna bump up your sales a little bit. Let's leave that at three to five days, that's awesome. So that's gonna be like our zone five and some zone six for Texas, and that's not gonna cost us a ton of money, but it will, um, this will be a large amount of the American population with only these states. It's actually really weird how few states there are out west. It's just how big the states are. So, um, yeah, we just want to check that. And then everything else, we want to add a new shipping rule here. And let's grab all the other states that we did not already grab except Alaska and Hawaii. And that is it. That's the only thing we need to do except bump this up to four to eight day. So what we have done here is we have encouraged people that are closer to us to buy from us. People that are a little bit further from us are going to expect a longer shipping date. And then the people far away from us may not buy from us or, you know, may be discouraged from buying from us. I do see here that there were some states here. I wanted Colorado in there. In here, let me adjust this edit. Did I mess something up here? Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, and then we got Texas. Okay. You want in Colorado in there, and now we want everything selected. Awesome. Okay, so that would be how I would have this set. Okay, very, very simple. By using that zone map, if you're in the middle of the country, um, you know, adjust accordingly. You guys basically have zone five shipping to everyone. I'm so jealous. I hate you all. Um, but, uh, that's okay. I still love you. Uh, especially if you like and subscribe to the channel. So please like and subscribe. So now you'll see here, I got everything turned off except for the, uh, standard shipping. Pretty basic. Now this would work for you. Let's hit save on this, and then I'm going to show you how to fix if you get a high pricing error. Okay, guys, so for our East Coast ship or our West Coast shipping, we're going to do uh, copy to a new template. Now, I was talking to somebody in my Q4 group the other day, and he was trying to sell something for $6.99. The buy box was $6.99. He priced it merchant fulfilled at $6.99 and immediately got a high pricing error. Very, very frustrating. So if you use this template that I'm about to show you, this will work to remove those high pricing errors. So we've now copied to a new template, all of our settings from before, so we don't have to mess around with this again, okay? And now what we're going to want to do is make our price, our shipping for 99 on all of these. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to call this best coast 
five dollars. Okay. Now, if you go in and you try to sell something, you know what worked for this guy was we were able to take the pricing. He dropped his price down to two dollars and then did four ninety nine shipping. So. The, t the way that this works is that Amazon kind of sucks at looking at the overall cost of the product with shipping. We're taking advantage of that and we're using shipping to bump our price up, okay? Even though the actual cost of the good does not change. Whether you sell something for $6.99 or $2 with $4.99 shipping, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the same price to the consumer. So this kind of works around this little flaw with Amazon. So by doing this, if you price something at you know whatever price you, you know you deem to be fair, Amazon kicks you back a high pricing error. You set up a shipping template like this, and you'll have that fixed. Just make sure that you drop your price on your product by five dollars, and then put the five dollars shipping in. Works like a charm. And if you're looking at a product where everybody's doing like three dollars shipping or two dollars shipping, adjust accordingly. Make these templates. They're free and very easy to make. As you can see, I just knocked out two in like 20 minutes. So anyway, guys, that's it with templates. And what I will say at the end here, because I did say this on the East Coast one, in my Q4 group, I actually show an amended part of this that actually gets customers to pay for shipping that they don't have to and makes you extra money. And there's been a couple people in the Q4 group that have said that that one trick that I show has paid for the Q4 group. So check out the group below. There's a link in the description with a discount code for my YouTube people. Take a look. It's really worth it, and I'm really excited about this year because there's a lot of money-making tips that I share that I don't share anywhere else. And, you know, shipping templates are a great place to make a lot of money. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later, and thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.